Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another TLEV Media video. I'm here at Universal Studios Hollywood to do another construction update, a huge construction update for Halloween Horror Nights and Super Nintendo World. So why don't you join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. Alrighty, and we start our video off here on the Curious George parking lot on actually the first level to get a very close look at the two houses that are here starting off with Scarecrow the Reaping. Now, if you guys haven't been keeping up to date with Halloween Horror Nights, both of these houses have been announced with this one being an original maze, or original house, Scarecrow the Reaping which actually was on the other coast before coming here. However, this storyline is based off of the Dust Bowl history and uh, scarecrows have come to life and are taking over the town, taking back what belongs to them. So as we can see over here, it is looking like there's a lot of old foliage coming in, a lot of old branches, old trees, um, kind of like because it's been taken over by the Dust Bowl. The problem during the Dust Bowl was all the soil was just so dry, nothing could grow. Massive s storms were coming in, um, just dust, dust storms basically. Um, and yeah, everything, people had to leave their houses and uh, were struggling to grow anything on the land. So this is why the facade looks like this. I'm loving this facade, it is so beautiful. We also have a scarecrow in the front and what seems to be another scarecrow over here in this little trash bag, I would think. So yes, here's Scarecrow the Reaping. It's looking really, really cool. We also have Halloween the House over here, based off of the first Halloween movie. Again, some more foliage has come in and has been put on the house facade. And that looks really cool. It seems as if like all of the tech stuff's coming in, all the electrical stuff is being put in, and we also have a lot of the things I believe that's gonna be in the Parisian Square um, over here, because uh, I recognize some of the stuff as it used to be set up to over there. Um, actually, in the plaza, it's more in the plaza that they put all this stuff. And so I would think that's gonna go in the plaza again. Uh, we also have all of the sign cues are coming in too over here without the signage. But yeah, those are coming in. The lights are finally coming in because this whole area gets lit up um, as you know, there's no just organic light since it'll be dark out. And also these lights right here that are usually used for whatever has to be parked in this area, not bright enough. So all the lights have also came in. As we head towards the entrance of the park. Well, as you can see, they are already putting out signs talking about we are in the process of dressing the park for Halloween or nights. And I'm not gonna lie, this is such a cool color scheme that they're doing. Traditional Halloween, orange, purple. I'm loving it. But yes, let's go into the park and see what they're talking about. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have entered the park now. And we are here on a Tuesday, the 16th, the first pass holder appreciation day for the month that we have actually have for celebration of pass holders in this park. And already we're entering to some Halloween Horror Nights nice construction as we have the lights going in and we have the box cars up for where all of the Beginnings of the park, the ceremony usually happens over here. And yeah, we have it all set up. We're gonna get a little closer to see what's cracking because this might not be the only thing that's here set up. Um, there's gonna be a lot more things being put into the park, but already seeing this is really, really cool. This is one of the best parts of Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood is right here. This is where the ceremony is. And man, is it fun. If you guys want to see the ceremony, it's always at the beginning of the night, and this is always where it's going to be, especially this year. I mean, there has been a year that it wasn't actually here, but now they have brought it back towards the front of the park. Oh man, I'm excited. And then they have flames 
a shootout from the top usually. And then there's always decorations over here too that have not been put in yet, so yeah. And we have entered the plaza. And as you can see, it has been cleared out of all tables and chairs and umbrellas as they are starting to set up for the event over here. With already here, it looks like this is gonna be a refreshment area. Probably selling modelos and some food. We also have the killer snacks over here. So again, they're gonna be using the plaza for a little hangout area for food, just to chill from all the scares. But that means, well, the maze up here, La Llorona, which we'll get a little closer to later, that means the maze will be, the line will be forming in a different location. Probably the same location that we saw last year. So I'll point that out once we get over there, but yes, plaza is wide open right now. And as we leave the plaza and head over here to the Parisian courtyard, well, ladies and gentlemen, the walls are down for the speculated La Llorona house over here. And man, am I loving what they have done with this over here. We have a well in the front. As you can see, the rope has ripped off. I wonder what's in the well. We'll probably be hearing some stuff from that well while you enter the house over here. It looks like you'll be going into the old church, the old mission. Oh man, this looks beautiful. I can't wait because, you know, lights are going to be put probably around here to point. Oh, whoa, there's already lights actually. I just <laughs> I just swing right by them. But here's the lights that they have set up. Now what they do with these lights is that they do sometimes some uh, projections go on there um, and some just really beautiful lights too. So yeah, this is gonna be so cool to see in the dark. Oh, I can't wait. And you can see just a little bit underneath. They are working on it over there. And I'm surprised that the walls are actually down over here. But again, we are about two weeks away since once this video gets released, uh, once it gets published, we will be about two weeks away. So yeah, this is, uh, this is really cool to see. And part of the past member appreciation mm -hmm. you can get this minion magnet for your car for your fridge for free um, you just go to one of the universal stores and you ask do you guys have a past member magnet and uh, well you can get one so yes exactly what is just, that's it's that exciting so yes go get your magnet and it looks like we have so, I mean, it looks more like comic book covers. We have one over here of El Cucuy. Now, this is a scare zone that I don't think has been announced yet, but it looks like it is going based off of some of the lure, a Spanish lure, folk lore. Um, and this is really cool to see as we enter more and more. We're going to see different comic books covers as we have over here. Wow, look at that. So that means we're gonna get a really cool scare zone that goes along with the light, speculated La Llorona house. And I keep saying speculate because it, not, it has not been announced yet. Ooh, El Chubacabra over here. Wow, this is really cool to see. Um, but yeah, we, you know, this is probably a scare zone that you enter and it seems like it's gonna go all the way out towards uh, Super Silly Funland, which is really cool to see. So again, it's probably gonna be kind of like last year's maze over here with the bride. You came straight into a scare zone that goes along with the house. And uh, you know, those are really cool. I mean, they've been doing that since kind of like, I mean, they've been doing it really recently, you know, with Universal Monsters over here, then the bride, and then now it looks like for this speculated house, La Llorona, well, you'll be entering again, a scare zone that goes along with the lure out here. That's really cool to see. Oh man, just look at all this stuff over here. Wow, I'm loving the artwork. It seems like it's the same artist as uh, last year too. Um, but yeah, this is so cool to see. Again, the screens are out again, so that means the screens will probably be showing off some 
um, footage of the comic books, I would think, or the newspapers. We don't know for sure if it's comic books or newspapers, but yes, this is so beautiful. Um, I can't wait to see all of the scare actors in this zone with all of their makeup on. It's gonna look so good, all the makeup and the prosthetics in this area. Uh, man, I am in love with this already. This artwork is just so beautiful. Wow, but yes, beautiful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new area that is being used for this year's Halloween Horror Nights, and that is called the Haunted Forest, I believe. And it's actually by Stage 57 Animals Actors. Guys, this is so funny to see. The, that means the bathrooms are not safe anymore. Um, this is gonna be an area that's filled with scare actors probably. And I mean, you could probably get into the bathroom, but once you're trying to get out, there is no safe spot. I mean, just look at all of the decorations that are out over here. They have completely changed this area. It is beautiful looking. Oh my gosh, journey no further, dude. This is amazing. So yeah, I mean, you can cut, you can try to run to the bathrooms, but coming back out, um, it's not it's not going to be easy. I'm not going to lie. Um, as it looks like this is going to be filled with scare actors. Um, this setup right here, I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be actually active with a scare actor inside. As we've seen this wolf be used before, this werewolf. Um, but yeah, already and taking a little break from Halloween Horror Nights as that is the majority of this video right now with all of the new updates. Let's look at Super Nintendo World over here. As you can see, there is a little tube over here, a uh, green one, as you can see it, which is really cool. And there's another one forming over here on the right side, as you can see. But yeah, this one is all green already. That's really cool to see. Also, the building that's going to house the attraction is over here. It looks like it's painted blue right now. They're probably going to be changing the colors a little bit for to go more in theme with the area, since it, that is the uh, ride house right there. So, but that's really cool to see. Um, here is the main entrance. Again, this tube has not been changed yet uh, to the color green. So that's going to probably be happening very soon. But yes. Super Nintendo World is looking beautiful, as usual. Loving the construction. Um, again, Bowser's Castle, we don't have the big Bowser head in the middle yet, but we do have the top of it forming. Look at that, with its horns and the teeth right there. And also, it's the little Bowser emblem in the middle. That is so amazing to see. But yes, there's our Super Nintendo World construction update. Let's move on to Universal Studios. Universal Monsters, Legends Collide over here. Again, not much has changed with this facade from what I can see. Um, it is probably, oh, well, I'm not even showing it to you. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, it looks like not much has changed over here. Um, it looks like there's just more and more barrels coming in. They got the cloth down now for the entrance of the house. And then, again, the screen is right there. Um, but yes, here, is the house um, again? Most of the work is being done inside now, and uh, that's really cool. Again, over here we have another house that has yet to be announced. Speculated killer clowns from outer space because of the tent front over here. We're going to be trying to get on the studio tour to show you guys more of it and to also check on the terror tram construction. So. Let's just jump over to that footage right now so you guys can see a little bit more of this. Um, I do know there's walls set up now, so we kind of have to only, we kind of only can see the front, the facade of the house. But Terra Tram is not fully covered, and you can see a lot probably for the Terra Tram. So let's go on the studio tour. Realism was an essential element for Apollo 13. After all, we were recreating an important moment in American history, a moment many Americans witnessed on television. We thought about filming in Houston, Texas, where the original control room from the Apollo mission still exists. Unfortunately, NASA's engineers didn't have filmmaking in mind when they built Mission Control. 
Since there was no room for the elaborate camera cranes and traps we needed for the shots, we had to build our own mission control. Everything had to be exact, even down to the tiniest details. NBC's television history goes back And as we didn't miss the Waterworld show, we were able to check out the construction and kind of the opening over here for the Horrors of Blumhouse house. Um, you can see now that they have the exit open. This is where you exit for the maze. Um, and also, I did see in Pittsburgh some people's pictures. I want to put one right here. Shout out to Entertainment Connection for the picture. Um, you can see that the walls are down once you enter Water World, and it looks very interesting. The the facade that they are doing for this, I can't really tell exactly what it is. Um, it doesn't really look like a theater. It could be a theater, a movie theater, but I don't know for sure. It's very I don't know, it's very structured with bricks that I don't think it's a movie theater, but yeah, that's it's looking cool. Um, but yeah, now you can see the exit for the maze. Um, I can't wait for this maze, especially if it's been expanded and extended a little bit more than last year's um, house. So yeah, this is really cool to see. Well, that's going to be it for my time here at Universal Studios Hollywood for a big, big construction update, both for Halloween Horror Nights and Super Nintendo World. Guys, we are getting so close to Halloween Horror Nights. We're about two and a half weeks away already. We still have, uh, I believe, four mazes. Let's see, let's do the math really quickly. No, three mazes that have not been announced and a terror trim that has not been announced. Um, Probably by the time this video comes out, we're only probably a couple days away from an announcement, or maybe there's an announcement today, who knows? But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We have social media, that is TLV Media, all across the board. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that at buymeacoffee.com. With that being said, my name is Mystery, and I'll see you guys on the next extraordinary adventure.